Ever wonder what's the story of Sung Jin Woo from the anime Solo Leveling? Well, in this video, I'll tell you everything about it. So let's dive right in. At the beginning, the story of Sung Jin Woo is portrayed as a weak, low-ranked hunter who's seen as a bit of a disappointment. He's an E-rank hunter, the lowest and the weakest rank in the hunter system. Jin Woo struggles to find decent jobs and make ends meet for his family, which consists of his mother and sister. Despite his lack of strength and abilities, Jin Woo has an unwavering determination to keep pursuing his dream of being a successful hunter. He refuses to give up or back down, continuing to put himself out there for the most dangerous and low-paying hunter jobs. However, Jin Wu is looked down upon and underestimated by higher-ranked hunters and society due to his low rank. Jin Wu displays tremendous courage and bravery in life-threatening dungeons. He battles on a daily basis despite not having the skills or powers to survive these ordeals. He somehow manages to scrape by with his wits and sheer willpower alone. Deep down, he knows there's more he's capable of and is determined to to achieve his goal of becoming a respectable S-rank hunter. Talking about Sung Jin Woo's childhood, he grew up in a loving middle-class family. He was an ordinary happy-go-lucky child who enjoyed playing games and spending time with his friends. However, his life took a tragic turn when he was 10 years old. His mother suddenly collapsed and fell into a mysterious coma. Doctors were unable to determine the cause or cure. Li Ju He was Jin Woo's mother, a kind and devoted homemaker. Her sudden coma from an unknown monarch-induced illness devastated the family. Jin Wu's love for his mother fueled his relentless drive to earn money for her treatment. Her miraculous awakening years later brought Jin Wu peace and closure. Ju He was unaware of her husband and son's powers, believing they were ordinary hunters. Sung Il Huan was Jin Wu's father and a legendary S rank hunter who disappeared 10 years ago. As one of the first awakened hunters, he was renowned for his combat prowess and research intellect. Sung Jin Ah was Jin Wu's cheerful younger sister. Sung Jin Wu shared a close bond with her, with Jin Ah caring deeply about her brother's well-being, despite his coldness. She yelled at him when he returned home injured. Jina was one of the few who knew Jin Wu's secrets and was protected by his shadow soldiers. She was eternally grateful to him for restoring their family. The major turning point for Jin Wu comes when he takes on a difficult job, clearing a dangerous double dungeon. He forms a party to complete this near-suicidal mission. During the battle, Jin Wu sustains mortal injuries while protecting one of his party members. As Jin Wu lies bleeding out and drifting into unconsciousness, the vivid scene suddenly changes before him. The space warped into an endless dark void, yet Jin Wu felt a strange, bone-chilling presence lurking in the shadows. A thunderous voice boomed out, I offer you a choice, accept your death here, or take my hand and be reborn as the Shadow Monarch. In this precipice between life and death, Jin Wu reflected on his powerlessness to save his mother and his unfulfilled dream of becoming a top hunter. Gripped with a defined will to live, he accepted the offer. As he accepted the offer, a dark void erupted into the blinding light light, and immense magical energy poured into Jin Wu's body. Ancient incantations filled his mind, and staggering magical knowledge imprinted itself. When the light faded, Jin Wu found himself alive and brimming with astonishing power. He'd been resurrected as the Shadow Monarch, possessing strength beyond comprehension. This pact forged in the abyss completely transformed Jin Wu's destiny. Jin Wu's physical body was enhanced to the utmost limits. His strength and speed were maximized to godlike proportions. He obtained unlimited stamina, rapid regeneration, poison and disease immunity. He could control shadows, summoning undead shadow soldiers, and wielding dark elemental attacks. Additionally, Jin Wu can increase his skills and stats by hunting monsters, extracting their essence and making them his shadow soldiers. He can also share his powers with his subordinates. These snowballing abilities turn Jin Wu from the weakest hunter into an unstoppable force. Of all his fast powers, two signature moves make Jin Wu nigh unstoppable in battle. Ruler's authority allows him to stop time itself, moving freely to deliver devastating attacks while enemies are frozen. Orc Disaster summons thousands of powerful orc soldiers, overwhelming enemies with sheer numbers. These two abilities enable Jin Wu to dominate colossal monsters and villainous enemies. In essence, Jin Wu is completely transformed from an underdog with no powers into the Shadow Monarch, possessor of the rarest and most powerful set of abilities in existence. He becomes virtually immortal and gains the strength to annihilate anything in his path. This allows him to shoot up the hunter ranks and achieve his dream rapidly. Initially, Jin Wu's only goal after gaining the Shadow Monarch's powers is to use them to become a successful hunter. For years, he had scraped by as an E-rank, barely making enough dangerous hunts to provide a living for his mother and sister. Now with his exponentially increased magic and strength, Jin Wu is excited at the prospect of quickly leveling up to become an S-rank hunter. This would grant him fame, wealth, and the ability to give his family a comfortable life. So at first, he simply wants to keep climbing the hunter ranks and amassing wealth through raids. 
Gene Jinwoo gradually understands his destiny is not simply for personal gain, but to utilize his power to protect humanity from the most sinister monsters and villains threatening their existence. He sets his sights higher than just making money, driven by a sense of duty to use his gifts to defeat evil. Initially, Gene Wu hides the extent of his new powers and pretends to be a weak hunter because he doesn't want to draw unnecessary attention and endanger his family. He knows if his identity as the Shadow Monarch is discovered, it could put his loved ones at risk, so he plays it safe, slowly revealing more of his skills so as not to arouse immediate suspicion. Above all, keeping his mother and sister safe is most important to Jin Wu, so he treads carefully to display the full magnitude of his abilities until he's ready to step into the mantle of the Shadow Sovereign. But he never loses sight of his overriding mission, to use his powers for good and protect humanity. Once Jin Wu fully unleashes his Shadow Monarch powers, he engages in epic battles against colossal S-rank monsters and nefarious villains threatening humanity. One such fight happens when Jin Wu faces off against the Frost Monarch, an immensely powerful Ice Witch, controlling a 100-foot tall Frost Giant. Jin Wu relentlessly attacks the giant with waves of Shadow Soldiers, eventually wearing it down while resisting all its icy attacks. He then confronts the Frost Monarch herself in a cataclysmic magic duel, finally emerging victorious after summoning his most powerful Shadow Soldier. Another intense battle occurs against the evil demon king Baron, who has laid waste to cities. Jin Wu confronts the hundred-armed, flame-spewing Baron in his castle lair. After initially struggling against Baron's pummeling attacks, Jin Wu activates his ultimate skill, Ruler's Authority, which stops time. This allows Jin Wu to slice off all of Baron's arms unopposed, before finishing him off for good. To support his battles against the tough foes, Jin Wu gathers loyal subordinates and builds up his personal Shadow Army. His summoned undead soldiers, the Shadows, become powerful allies. He also recruits human followers, training them and sharing a portion of his magic. His allies provide tactical support and fend off lesser foes, allowing Jin Wu to focus on the biggest threats. With the support of his formidable army, Jin Wu is able to concentrate his full power on annihilating the strongest enemies and most dangerous villains. Their combined strength enables Jin Wu to achieve victory against all who threaten humanity. Above all else, Jin Wu is driven by a sense of duty and responsibility, tied to his powers as the Shadow Monarch. He feels intrinsically motivated to use his extraordinary gifts to protect the innocent people of the world from the most dangerous threats lurking in the shadows. Jin Wu could have easily used his powers for selfish reasons, accumulating wealth, living in luxury and fame as an S-rank hunter. But he realizes the greater calling of his abilities is to be a guardian of humanity and a slayer of evils that prey on the defenseless. He sees his role as a necessary counterbalance to the rising dark forces. This leads to his overriding goal, to keep training relentlessly to become as strong as possible in order to defeat the sinister, world-ending villains and monster bosses. Only by maximizing his skills and evolving new powers can he hope to prevail against near-godlike entities with designs on destroying cities and nations. Jin Wu is driven each day to push his limits so that no enemy can overwhelm him. At the same time, he never loses sight of wanting to protect his family and loved ones from harm. As much as the world at large depends on him being its champion, he also cares deeply about shielding his mother and sister from danger. Keeping them safe provides an additional motivation for Jin Wu to keep growing stronger. In essence, Jin Wu is compelled by his sense of duty, compassion for humanity, and love for his family. These factors all feed into his relentless training to become an unstoppable force for good. He knows the world needs a guardian capable of standing against the rising darkness, and he's determined to be that stalwart protector no matter the cost. Sung Jin Wu gained many titles during his rise as a hunter. His official title, Shadow Monarch, came after he claimed the Sovereign Throne. Soul Reaper was given to him due to his unique solo clearing ability. He was also called the Awakened One due to his evolution into demigod power. Some less formal titles like Monarch King and Black King originated from allies and enemies. So this was the backstory of Sung Jin Wu. Whose backstory would you like to listen to next? Do let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, you can check out this other cool anime video that appears on the screen. Click on it to see. Go on, click it.